How do you know which fraction is bigger? There are actually four different ways to solve this. That's what we're going to talk about today. This video is brought to you by the Team Laika Review Books. Hi there, welcome to Team Laika, where I try to help you prepare better for your next exam. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and hit subscribe. Hit that bell icon para malaman niyo kapag ready na yung nating lesson. We have more coming up. And don't forget to like the video so that more people find out about the good work we're trying to do sa channel na ito. Okay? Now, let's jump right into our discussion. The first way to determine kung anong mas malaking fraction is just to find the LCD. Ang gagawin lang natin, ditatransform natin yung fractions. Dapat pareho sila nung apelido or yung last name, yung number na nasa ilalim, yung denominator. Tapos, mas madali mo na makikita. Kasi kung sino na lang ang mas malaki ang numerator, ang mas malaking fraction. Let me show you how to do that. Now, yung 11 tsaka 7, parehong prime number. So, ang gagawin lang natin to figure out yung least common denominator is gagawin natin sila parehong 77. Now, how do we do that? Well, para mas simple, itatabi na natin siya. Kung gusto natin maging over 77, iikotin na natin siya parang ratio rotation. And again, may lesson tayo on transforming fractions. I'll link ko na lang din. Iikotin na natin siya from here, pa ganun. 77 divided by 11 is 7 times 8, that would be 56. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang 8 over 11 ay equivalent sa 56 over 77. Same thing, gagawin natin dito sa 7. Kung gusto natin siya maging over 77, ikotin lang natin siya pa ganyan. Pwede rin yun. 77 divided by 7 is 11 times... 4, which is going to give us 44. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang 4 over 7 ay 44 over 77. Now that we have that, madali na to figure out kung ito ba ay less than or greater than. Dahil, kitang-kita na natin kung ano yung mga numbers na nasa itaas. Ang rule kasi, kung pareho sila ng denominator o yung number na nasa ilalim, kung sino ang mas mataas ang numerator, ang mas malaking fraction. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot dito ay greater than. Now, of course, mahaba yung proseso. Maraming kailangan i-figure out. So, is there another way? Let's try something else. Method number two involves transforming them into decimals. Ang gagawin mo lang is to divide yung number na nasa taas by the number na nasa ilalim. So, kung isosolve natin yung 8 divided by 11, this will be 0 kasi walang 11 na kasha sa 8. Tapos, dahil decimal na siya, pwede na tayong magbagsak ng isang 0 dito. 80 divided by 11 is 7. You have 77 here. Mabawas natin siya dyan, magkakaroon ka ng 3. Pwede ako magbagsak ng isa pang 0. And 30 divided by 11 is 2. 2 times 11 is 22. 8 siya dyan. At 2 decimal points, pwede na tayong huminto muna. Itong left side natin ay 0.72. Dito naman tayo sa 7 Dito naman tayo sa 4 divided by 7. 4 divided by 7. And we're using long division ha. So kung nakalimutan nyo na kung paano yun gawin, ililink ko na lang din para mapanood ninyo. Okay? 4 divided by 7, di kasha, 0. Magbabagsak tayo ng isang 0 dito. So 14 na lang divided by 7. That would give you 5. 5 times 7 is 35. Babawas natin siya dyan. So, now you have 5. At kahit dito pa lang, pwede ka nang huminto. Kasi kung mapapansin ninyo, ang 0.72 at 0.5, sino bang mas malaki? Hindi ba yung 0.7? So, ibig sabihin nun, gaya kanina, mas malaki ang 8 over 11 sa 4 over 7. Third method is cross-multiplication. Now, this is also a great opportunity for me to talk about the review books. So, if you want more practice questions, if you want more exclusive techniques, and yung mga explainers ng mga speed uh, methods na ginagamit ko pag ako nagtitake ng exam, you can go ahead and get your own copy of the practice test booklets and the workbooks m.me slash team like we ship all over the country so if you're interested message us on facebook para malaman ninyo kung paano kayo makakakuha ng inyo madali lang rin ito pero maraming naguguluhan kasi kung ano bang masusunod saan ba siya didikit sino ba yung mas malaki sa left o sa right now para mas madali at mas klaro ito let me show you na lagi siyang across and ang masusunod ay yung number na nasa itaas. So, it would look like this. Sa left side, we have the blue side, 8 times 7. 
8 times 7 is 56. And dito naman, sa right side, again, masusunod yung nasa taas. 11 times 4 is 44. So, sino mas mataas? 56 or 44? The answer would be 56. And what that means is, mas malaki rin, again, ang 8 over 11 sa 4 over 7. Kung ano yung mas malaking side, siya ang mas malaki. Now, bakit to nag-work? Let me show you a quick little trick. Tandaan nyo yung itsula ng numbers na ito, 56 and 44. Familiar siya, di ba? Kasi kung makikita ninyo, yun din yung numbers dito sa finding the LCD. Ang difference lang is hindi na natin involve yung number na nasa ilalim. We went straight to cross multiplication to get 56 and 44. That is why a lot of people prefer method 3 over finding the LCD and over converting them into decimals. Kasi nga, it takes a lot of time. Pero maibibilis pa ba yan? Now, I discussed speed techniques in my video lesson on comparing fractions. So if you haven't seen that yet, ililink ko na lang din dito. But let me run through a few of them. Now, ang pinaka-simple when it comes to comparing fractions is that if they have the same denominator or yung number na nasa ilalim, mas malaki yung mas malaki ang numerator. Given na yan, nilagay ko asterisk kasi hindi naman ako nag-invento niyan. Pero over time, as I started playing with the numbers in my head, may isa pa akong napansin. Here's my first tip. If they have the same numerator and different denominators, the one with the smaller denominator is bigger. Ano yung ibig sabihin nun? Kung meron akong 2 over 3 at 2 over 5, pareho sila ng numerator o yung number na nasa itaas. Pero magkaiba yung number na nasa ilalim. Sa mga kaso na ganito, ang mas malaki ay yung may number sa ilalim na mas maliit. Medyo counterintuitive siya kasi sanay tayo na i-compare yung mga numbers na nasa taas. Pero again, kapag pareho sila ng number na nasa taas, mas malaki yung mas maliit ang number na nasa ilalim or yung may smaller denominator. Sa 2 over 3 at 2 over oh, Sa 2 over 3 at 2 over 5, mas malaki ang 2 over 3 because 3 is smaller than 5. Ganon, for any fraction pairs na pareho ang numerator, magkaiba ang denominator. Here's another tip. If the difference between the denominator and numerator of each fraction is equal, ibig sabihin, pag binawas ko yung number na nasa itaas sa number na nasa ilalim, sa parehong fraction, pareho ang sagot. Kagaya nito, 2 over 5 at 1 over 4. Ang 5 minus 2 ay 3, ang 4 minus 1 ay 3. When they are equal, the one with the bigger numbers is bigger. Yung fraction na mas malalaki ang numbers na involved, siya ang mas malaki. So sa 2 over 5 at 1 over 4, dahil mas malalaki ang numbers na 2 at 5 sa 1 at 4, ang 2 over 5 ang bigger number or bigger fraction. Now, using that, balikan natin yung tanong. 8 over 11 and 4 over 7, hindi sila magkapareho ng numerator o yung number na nasa taas. Hindi rin sila magkapareho ng number na nasa ilalim or yung denominator. Pero, kung titingnan mo, Ang 8 at 11, ang idadagdag mo sa 8 para maging 11 ay 3, at ang idadagdag mo rin sa 4 para maging 7 ay 3. Pareho sila ng difference. 7 minus 4 is 3, 11 minus 8 is 3. Kaya kung alam mo yung speed technique na kung pareho sila ng difference ay mas malaki, yung may mas malalaking numbers, isang tingin mo pa lang, alam mo na na ang tamang sagot ay greater than. 8 over 11 is greater than 4 over 7. Now, dito napapasok yung anong teknika ang gagamitin mo. Well, sa totoo lang kung saan ka mas mabilis. Sa akin, ang ginagawa ko ay I, I look at it, try my speed techniques muna kasi it'll save me a lot of time. And then, kapag uh, hindi sila magkapareho ng numerator, hindi sila magkapareho ng denominator, hindi pareho ang difference ng numerator sa denominator nila, that's the time that I use cross multiplication. Okay? Now, the best way for you to remember this better and to practice then para mas mobiles is through a quick quiz. So, if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Number one muna tayo. 7 over 10 
and 7 over 12. Now, again, speed technique, pareho sila ng number sa taas. So, ibig sabihin, mas malaki, yung mas maliit ang number na sa ilalim, this will be 7 over 10. Now, kung gusto mo manigurado, cross multiplication tayo. Ang 7 and 12 is 84. And ang 10 and 7 naman ay 70. Still, mas malaki yung fraction na nasa left or yung 7 over 10 kaysa 7 over 12. Next question, 9 over 14 and 16 over 21. Hindi sila pareho ng numerator, hindi sila pareho ng denominator, pero tingnan natin kung pareho yung difference. Ang difference nito ay 5. Difference nito, 5 din. So, sa aking speed techniques, alam ko agad, 16 over 21 ang mas malaki. We can use cross multiplication to compare. 9 and 21, that would be 180 plus 9, so 189. 14 and 16, 14 times 16, that's 160 plus 64, so 224. Kung naguluhan kayo kung paano ako nagmumultiply, uh, ginawa ko lang doon ay 16 times 10, plus 16 times 4. Meron din akong video on that, panoorin nyo na lang din, okay? So dapat, mas malaki ang right side, 16 over 21. Tama pa rin tayo. Next, we have 8 over 11 and 9 over 14. Hindi magkapareho ng numerator, hindi magkapareho ng denominator, at hindi rin pareho ng difference kasi ito ay 3, yung kabila ay 5. Which means, I don't have a choice but to use cross multiplication. So, 8 times 14 is 80 plus 8, 16, 24, 32. 32 plus 80 is 112. And here naman, 9 times... 9 times 11 is 99, which means yung nasa left side or yung 8 over 11 ang mas malaking fraction. Now, you may ask me, may ganito bang eksaktong tanong sa civil service exam? Posible. Meron bang pwedeng paggamitan din ito? Yes. Kasi hindi man direct ang greater than, less than, or equal ang options sa exam, merong mga tanong about comparing or putting fractions or decimals in order. And it's this same technique, these same concepts that you can use to help you save time sa mga klaseng tanong. And of course, meron pa namang ibang exams, college entrance tests, scholarship exams, low aptitude tests, at marami pang iba na pwede rin yung paggamitan nito. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure to share this video with your friends. Ano ko mag exam din sila para mas marami tayong matulungan. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you want to help out this channel, there are many ways to do that. A huge shout out to all of our channel sponsors, channel members, channel supporters. Marami marami salamat sa inyo for helping me help more people through this channel. I really hope to be able to do this for as long as I possibly could. So, everything that you send over helps. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. And, kung bitin pa kayo doon, marami pa tayong lessons. So, you can just pick whatever you want to watch next. Again, marami pa rin namang paparating. So, hintay-hintay lang kayo dyan. And as we always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Aja-aja, tayo niyan. I'll see you on my next video and bye for now.